Welcome back, you glorious people of the interwebs, to Outer Worlds. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get one of the first science weapons that you'll have access to. And these science weapons can end up being pretty powerful, especially if you spec into the type of science weapon that you want to use. Now the first science weapon is going to be available once you get to the wonderful Groundbreaker. Now this is actually going to be, the person you need to talk to is going to be part of your first mission here. It's going to be just inside of here, which is a Gladys. Now you actually won't get a mission from Gladys, but unfortunately I may or may not have murdered Gladys. Uh, we don't need to talk about it, it was just a mistake way back in the day. Um, but Gladys is murdered. Now she does have something that you can purchase to be able to unlock this particular quest. But I'm pretty sure that we can get it without actually needing to purchase the item from Gladys because I know exactly where to go to get it because while I was exploring, I happened upon this. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the entrance of the Groundbreaker and we got to look for a specific room, which I believe is back here. Yes, it's the room with all of the beds here. And if you look in this room, there's this hole up here. And this is what piqued my curiosity. And if we climb up these handy dandy boxes right here, you can crouch your way through this little hole and you're going to encounter a bunch of, I guess, like smugglers back here. And you're going to have to murderize the bejesus out of these smugglers. So we're going to smack that guy. We're going to smack this. Oh, he died. He dead. And then. Oh, oh. <laughs> I wanted to use my gloop gun on you. I've got the gloop gun right here, which is another science weapon. This thing is absolutely amazing. I'll be making a video on how to get that. I live streamed getting it the other day, so I got to work on doing that. But through this door is actually what we need to get. Now, we need 60 lock picking to open this um, if we don't have the quest. So that's what we need to work on getting right now. I'm going to see if I can find some clothes here real quick that'll give me enough lock picking to get in here. Ah, sweet. So I actually went down to the armory here on the Groundbreaker, and they had a clothing with lockpick plus five, which is exactly what I need. And uh, it was only $31, so that's perfect. And then I actually happened to find a thing that gave me plus five stealth here. I don't want to get rid of my top hat, but I'm going to have to... Oh, it actually looks like it's part of the same equipment. Interesting. But this should give me just enough lockpicking to to get me in there so we got yep lock pick level 60 now so we got to go head back there and get into that lovely room and then we can finally test out the science hammer of doom ah uh, finally okay so we also need um eight or five mag picks and we can finally get in here it's cool that they allow you to do these without actually having to buy the thing if you happen to screw up uh so in here there should be a hammer of doom let's see how do we get to it let's use this terminal here what do we got in the logs? Display log entries, discovery, mysteries, troubles, annihilation. While rummaging through the back bays, I discovered a very old hammersmith crate that seemed to have been sealed for a very long time. A bit of elbow grease and determination pried it open, but I couldn't make heads or tails of my discovery. A prototype hammer. I didn't know hammersmiths actually made hammers, but I've brought it to my lab for a closer look. How strangely it glows, but... The trail of its wake lingers even when my eyes are closed. Interesting. I've spent more time on the hammer. Its internal workings are the state of the art. Thermal, electrical, and chemical systems all working in harmony. How is this even possible? The weapon is a breakthrough in circuitry and engineering, and many of its systems appear rigged against tampering. There's a curious energy sign signature swirling about the weapon, though I have yet to identify the source. The air tastes of copper. I have lost several teeth. Oh no! I've had the most sublime prismatic dreams since I invited the hammer into my bedchamber. What are you doing putting a hammer in your bedchamber? Never mind that for now. Good news first. The energy signature matches Blondiant's elusive N rays, raising the hammer's elemental properties to four shock, plasma, corrosion, and radiation. Now for the bad. In my attempts to neuter the self destructive functionality, I inadvertently caused a small fire. The hammer's manual controls may never function again. Swinging it seems to be the only way of cycling through its elemental nodes. I must take greater care with future experiments. Oh god, now we have annihilation. I've taken the liberty of locking myself in the workshop. My tinkerings were all for naught. This is no prototype. I am simply too flawed to recognize its perfections. The hammer is a lesson. 
a symbol. It whispers to me that disorder rules all things. But with a little ambition, we can harness that power. Only by inflicting chaos upon others can we transmute disorder into harmony. And that is a lesson Halcyon is not ready to hear. That got intense. So in this handy dandy box right here is the prismatic hammer. This is exactly what you're looking for. I expected it to be somewhere like on display, but no, it's just in this little box. Grab this bad boy and uh, we'll check exactly what it looks like. We can get to our weapons here. That actually kind of looks similar to the other hammers. Grab this bad boy. Does it have like a glow around it or anything? It's just big. It's just really, really big. The biggest hammer that there ever was. I need to put my top hat back on. We need to murder things. I want to level it up and see how much better it gets. And then the, also there is a skill that you can use or a perk rather that's going to increase your science weapon damage by 50%. So if you are leveled up into something like I am with combat two-handed melee damage, you're going to do a ton of stuff if you're also leveled up into science too. So you can do a ton of damage with these science weapons if we get it all squared away right. So what we're going to do here quick is we're going to tinker with this and see if we can get it to the max level that we can. I think we can get it all the way up to level 20. That's what we're going to try and do. It's at, it's at level 7 now and we have 72 damage on it. Interesting. This thing is extremely expensive to upgrade. Uh, I've already plowed through thousands of dollars and now it's going to cost me $5,000 to get each tink or only 5000 just to tinker beyond this point. And it's only at level 14, so it's 133 DPS. Damage per hit is 126 with an additional effect of knockdown. Um, but it's way less damage than everything else I have. But I'm wondering if my science skills will actually help improve that enough to make it worth using at least at this point in the time, like in the game. I should have gotten this earlier in the game because I'm quite a bit farther than the point where you would get this. Um, so if you want to get this and use it, I recommend getting it earlier in the game. Uh, but let's go find some people to pimp slap with it. So of course came out here to pimp slap stuff and it seems that I've made everything extinct in the area already and there's nothing to murder quite yet. Aha! Finally! Some things to murder! Let's see here. Should BAM! 348 damage on one hit is not actually that bad. Oh! oh okay. Really? Oh god. Stop shooting poison at my booty! Ah! You know? Surprisingly, it's doing about as much damage as my higher level items. And I'm, I'm assuming that's due to, you know, the increase in science stuff, because not only do we have the one character perk here, which increases science weapon damage by 50%, uh, we've also got skills which you can go to, which is tech and into science. Um, improves your weapon and armor in the workbench, but then we can also do plasma damage, shock damage, and science weapon effects. Plus 15.7%. So there's multiple ways to really amplify the effects of these science weapons. 402! Oh, yes! And these even aren't aren't even charged hits either, which is nice. Oh my god, there's so many of them! Let me introduce you to my friend Hammer! Now there's another melee damage one that's actually supposed like pretty much the most OP melee weapon in the game. And I'm going to be showing you how to unlock that in the next video. So if you are curious about science weapons and you want them, make sure to check out the science weapon series we're doing. I'm going to try and get all of them um, pretty quickly. I think I can get access to all of them now. Regardless, this is the prismatic hammer. This is the first of the science weapons that you'll be able to find in the game. I do hope you all enjoyed the episode. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.